Yes. You know. All right, hey, good day, everybody. Hey, good day, everybody. So, we're gonna give you a tour of a holiday rambler. I might call this a Monaco throughout the video because it was built by Monaco Corporation, more than likely in Coburg, Oregon. I'm not exact where this coach was produced, but that's why you might catch me call it that. It is a holiday rambler scepter, 2007. It's gonna have a Cummins 400 horse in it and it's gonna come in at 129,999 or let's just say 130 is asking price for this bad boy with less than uh, 40,000 miles on it. Beautiful coach, really cool colors. I like this fade up here in the very front across the Holiday Rambler. It's got good looking paint. Monaco, real solid product like their units. But let's get you all a tour of the outside of this. Let me get these bay doors open for you real quick. Bay doors are open. As you can see, they're gonna be cafe bay doors. So they'll be swing out. So even if you got the room in or out, doors kinda of out of your way. The very first one here is gonna be your fuel tank. You're gonna have the access so you don't have to open the door though here on the outside of it. You'll have that on both sides. Then you're gonna have a compartment bay here nice solid surfaces here on the sides and then you're going to have a full pass-through bay here with the slide tray pull this lever oh, push it down give it a pull oh, can't get it quite past there one-handed there we go pass the one-hand slide tray test slides back in and then here in bay number three you're going to have a full pass-through again so you got that and if you got something real long you could actually stick it all the way across so if you had a like a backdrop for shooting photos or something like that and shoot that through that bay and still have enough room it looks like we've got the magnum inverter man not up here on the ceiling it's got the magnum uh, auto gen module there some outlets so you could have a freezer or maybe some tv out here if you wanted gonna have a propane tank here because this is gonna be an elementary coach where I'll have a propane water heater and propane furnaces really serviceable looks like you got a 31 gallon prop tank on it and then you got the tag axle here that 400 horse Cummins got your uh, house batteries located here on the very top you're gonna have your engine start batteries some of the coach electronics back here on the very back now with the ladder down can't get this bay door or engine access door open but I can still get it open enough on the other side so I'll give you a view there's the uh, ISL 400 horse on it and then you can just close this bay door here close this one give it a latch back ends closed up the towing capacity on this coach is going to be a 10,000 pound hitch on here give you some pretty good towing capacity We'll make our way around the driver's side. I've already opened all the bays up on this. Got your uh, plumbing bay here. Nice elementary black tank, gray tank valves down here on the bottom. A little shower sprayer. Nice easy access to your water pump. You've got tank monitoring out here, which is really nice. Your water fill there. A SantaCon switch in case you want to run a turd grinder out here. Got your low point drains. Uh, black tank flush. So this here is going to be that other side of that pass-through bay in three, pass-through bay here in two, and then number one, you'll uh, lose that compartment bay here because you end up with your fresh water tank, nice and accessible here, and then you've got that fuel fill 
access in the door here so you don't have to swing that cafe out. Up here, you're gonna have your front run box, as we call it in the country coaches, it's gonna be pretty much the same across most products. So, beautiful coach, really cool colors. I'm sure my fiance will love this coach, but let's get a tour of the inside of it. It is a 42 footer, 10,000 pound hitch rating, under 40,000 miles, and like I said, just under 130,000. So let's go inside. All right, so we've made it inside. Nice little basic tile floor. It uh, still looks like it's in really good condition. Um, ceiling's in excellent shape. It's got these nice little round lights here. I don't have all of them turned on, it doesn't look like, but there's those along there, and then there's those along this side here. So if you want to turn those fluorescents off, you know, let's get those off. But beautiful coach here. Let's get you to on a tour here. We've got those cherry wood cabinets over this passenger seat here you're gonna have all your overheads looks like you've got a cd changer up in there and then it looks like you got a little sharp tv factory and then some audio video equipment classic old navigation computer boy those were the times in 2007 had to have a computer just for your nav now it's all in our phone nice cockpit area it's got the Voyager camera system on it. It's got right and left cameras. Nice stock elementary radio there, leaving room for improvement. Nice basic driver's console here. Looks like you've got jacks by uh, Power Gear. It's got the auto retract and what have you for that. Got the smart wheel with this nice leather wheel. Got that Holiday Rambler in the very center. Probably got a pedal adjust here. If I was to dig up the yeah, pedal in and out. So nice little uh, shelves here or drawers here in the driver's area. Little cup holder for you. So passengers got a little cup holder. I think they even got their own little personal map box or knickknack box because it's not too deep. But a couple switches there at the entry well. Nice seats here. Looks like we got a two tone kind of uh, vinyl coming in. Excellent condition on these seats. Really nice shape on this motorhome. I mean, only 39,000 miles on it. I want to say it was uh, not used very much, but beautiful coach. So let's get you all a tour of this uh, front area here. All right, so, boom. Cabinets are all open. Nice large overheads here. You can see all the way from end to end, no dividers. Same with this over the dinette area. You've got your refrigerator here, double side here. And then the other side over here being your freezer area. And then in the very bottom, I think I may have missed one drawer. And then there's uh, some cabinet area here behind the seats and behind these two chairs. But as you can see, that's pretty much your storage in your uh, driver's side slider room. You've got this little computer desk. It's got some more drawers, even a cabinet with a pull-out area. So you could actually put your printer down there if you wanted to. Get that one closed up, and then you've got this nice deep filing cabinet drawer here in the very bottom. So that kind of covers that side. We'll make our way over here to the passenger side slide room. You're going to have this couch. I'm going to guess that it's probably a pop-out. Yeah, it looks like it's an air mattress. So that's a full hide-a-bed style. Pops out into the room. Got these nice cabinets over the top here again. As you can see, no dividers. You can put some nice long stuff through there. Got your Intellitech keypad for your lighting here. Uh, there's the rest of those living room lights. Now I've got those popping above the top there. We'll make our way into the galley. I've already got the drawers and doors all open so you guys can see about how much storage you're going to have in there. Got this one here at the rearward end of the galley. Got your scrub daddy holder coming in. Got this nice sink. Nice and deep here on the right. And nice and deep on the left. Take my time so I don't mess up this corneon. Poof, there we go. 
got a four burner cooktop in here no nope, three burner my bad cooktop in here and then you've got that microwave convection oven above that and then you've got some storage above that looks like you've got the uh information warranty pack in here so you've got the owner's manual so this is all really nice now let's go ahead and close these drawers all up so now we got those lower drawers all closed. We'll get this upper one closed up here too. But I wanted to show you now, you see how you get this extra surface area. But when you get to go in the transit, you just simply slide this away and it goes away for storage. So that way when you can get through the room here, we'll go ahead and get this one here closed up. And then these uppers above the sink. So real nice woodwork in here. I mean, this coach is in excellent condition. It's not worn, not beat down, not a bunch of grease on the ceiling from cooking in it a bunch. Really nice unit. Some mirror, making the room feel a little larger. Got some more mirror here. You maybe even do something cool with throwing the olives up in here. Got that pour spout there, you little knickknacks and goo gaws, whatnots in there. Now, what's really cool about this coach is going to be a pretty elementary level, but a really nice coach with that diesel pusher. But you're going to have all of your systems operation right here in one location slide room controls, tank levels, generator, heating, um, air conditioning. It's got the load shed management system on it, factory, so in case you get in a 30 amp or something like that. Got your magnum inverter right here also. Got your fantastic fan and then your keypad for all your lights. So real nice and basic coming in with that. Let's get back here into the shower area. We've got this nice radius shower enclosure. Nice and large. I don't need to go in there. As you can tell, the headroom in this coach is plenty sufficient. And we didn't have steps going up into there. It does. I'll actually bust this door open. Sorry about that roller door there. But nice little spot to put your foot. And then a nice little bar there, and then your regular shower nozzle. Someone's added some hooks up there to be able to keep a towel tossed up there on the top of it. Then you've got this nice little uh, linens cabinet here, some drawers down low. Gonna be consistent all the way there, and then here, got this cool little custom decor trim around that. And you got your drawers here. Looks like you've got some more storage under there. Got this nice mirror here storage here with this little plexiglass edge so the stuff won't come out of there and then you've got this mirror over here on this wall it's a nice area to get ready let's give these pocket doors a try see if we get some mirrors hidden on the backs of those oh yep so if you're ready to get all glamoured up for your day you got the head to toe mirror there in that location we'll go ahead and get this locked back in looks like you've got a central vacuum system here be nice some more uh, closet area. Looks like you've even got a little bar space here coming in probably 18 inches if you wanted to get rid of that uh, shelf to be able to hang up some nice stuff. A couple nice drawers here. Nice use of the area for some good storage in this uh, toilet room, or not toilet room, in the bathroom. Let's get into the toilet room now. As you can see, I'm clearly thinking about it already. Giving you a tour of it. We've got this, this, and this. Actually, even a nice little courtesy light down here at the base. You can kind of leave it on in the evenings off its own switch. Then you've got those lights up high. Got some storage below the sink. Then you got that Tecma turd grinder toilet. And then some more storage above it. Got that fantastic fan here in the ceiling. Nice little window. Cool little wood window box. Really nice design little spot you can maybe set a couple of things if you wanted to use the museum putty and then another cabinet here above the sink so beautiful coat some nice little backsplash tile coming in all the way across here so let's get you all a tour of this bedroom i've opened up a couple of the overheads in here so you can actually see through all these overhead cabinets got these nice drawers here they're kind of mini because you've got the end of the slide going on there but they wanted it to look consistent so you got these small drawers like this IntelliTech buttons here be able to turn on and off your uh, wardrobe lights you got a 110 outlet here be able to charge your phone nice convenient location got that matching fabric here on the uh, comforter 
that you've got here on these window boxes throughout the bedroom area. Some nice drawer area here. You've got that again here. And then some other ones in the bottom. These are going to be a little bit deeper. Reason being is the bed when it comes in actually slides into this area and goes over the tops of these so they can get the B driver. Very large drawer here you use as your hamper, which is going to be right next to your combo washer dryer. So super convenient. Just toss all the dirty clothes in there, toss them in the washer, toss them on the bed, fold them up, put them away, and never even have to leave this room. Got some more bar space across the top here. So another 36 inches or so bar space up there for you. Let's take a look inside this closet, give you all a show of it some more bar space looks like we may have some intellitech output modules so these are going to be all your fuses for your interior lighting then i'm going to guess that that's probably a shore cord or something of that sort and then some more storage here looks like somebody's even got a little hook here so they can put another bar in here if they want get some more storage going on so i've got a little towel bar hook or um, robe hook up here so beautiful coach, nice small little TV back here. Don't need a big, huge thing back here going on. Another drawer below it. So beautiful coach. I hope you guys enjoy the tour. It does have a ceiling fan factory built in. I don't think I've missed anything much. So everyone, I hope you're all having a great day. Enjoy these videos. I hope you're all having as much good a time watching them as I am making them. But this coach is coming in, like I said, at $129,000. 42 foot holiday rambler scepter um, 400 horse cummins beautiful coach made here probably in colberg oregon if i'm gonna guess if not it was made by the monaco group so you got great support on that side of it still some by the rev group that owns monaco now but thanks again everybody don't forget to subscribe till next time bye bye